Hi there, in this episode of Kreta's Creatures of TNT, we're going to look at the Black Vulture, locally known as a Kobo. Now, there are a lot of things people don't know about Black Vultures. Um, head of the El Socorro Center for Wildlife Conservation, Ricardo Mead, is going to tell us a little bit more about them and why they're super important. We have the ubiquitous black vulture, known in Trinidad and Tobago as Kobo. But that is actually a derogatory name. This is an American black vulture. They used to migrate to Trinidad. Really? They used to migrate to Trinidad and Tobago, but they've decided to make a home right here in Trinidad. Strangely enough, none are found in Tobago. This animal, what many people pour scorn upon, is very important in our ecosystem. All around the world, vultures are critically endangered, but they're very important. We need to understand that this is part of nature's cleanup crew. Without these guys, we will be subjected to lots of diseases. In fact, I believe without black vultures, most of us would be diseased or dead. A black vulture's stomach acid is so powerful, it's like bleach. So when it gets on the scene of a death, something dead on the side of the road, even if it died from a disease like rabies or botulism, even anthrax, once they eat it, that disease is gone, wiped out. So they are very important for coming and helping control rabies and all these other diseases. If they are not around, then that disease now would go on into the stomach of another animal and then possibly get on to people. So these animals are very important. And this guy here, we call him Optimus, is very playful. He was hand-raised and kept as an ambassador, but he's very spoiled. So he just likes to give hugs and kisses and play with your hands and stuff like that there. He doesn't smell. And vultures, after they consume dead stuff, will actually go and bathe. Sometimes you see them on the highway with their wings spread apart because they are sunning out after their bath. Also, they don't have feathers on their head. There's a reason for that. Imagine sticking your head into the carcass of a dead dog and having feathers and have to clean that. So they got rid of those feathers. It's not important. They also have very strong legs and they use their legs to hydrate and cool themselves. By spitting and vomiting on their legs, they keep their bodies nice and cool on the hottest of days. So they're really cool animals that we should learn to appreciate for what they do in our environment. Because just imagine one day or one week in Port of Spain that the garbage truck doesn't pass. A life without these guys will be a life riddled with disease. Learn to respect and appreciate our vultures. The Black Vulture. <laughs>